Hey everyone, ready to explore a future where farming isn't tied to sunlight or even land. Bioengineers are developing something incredible called electroagriculture, which could change the way we produce food, possibly even making it feasible to farm on Mars. Let's dive into how this futuristic method could revolutionize agriculture, cut down on land use, and open up new possibilities for food production indoors and in space. Welcome to Trendstorm. Chapter 1. The Problem with Photosynthesis Photosynthesis has been nature's food factory for millions of years, but it's not very efficient. Plants only convert about 1% of the sunlight they receive into energy. Scientists realized that if they could find a way to bypass photosynthesis, they might make food production much more efficient and even free it from environmental limits. That's where electro-agriculture comes in. Chapter 2. What is electro-agriculture? Electro-agriculture is a process that replaces photosynthesis with a solar-powered reaction. Instead of using sunlight directly, it uses solar energy to power a reaction that converts carbon dioxide into acetate, a nutrient-rich molecule that plants can eat. In lab experiments, researchers successfully fed acetate to genetically modified tomatoes and lettuce, giving these plants a new, efficient way to grow without relying on sunlight. If scaled up, electro-agriculture could reduce the U.S. agricultural land need by a whopping 94%. Imagine entire multi-story buildings where crops are grown indoors, powered by solar panels instead of sunlight. This technology could revolutionize farming and bring agriculture into a new era. Chapter 3. How it works. Feeding plants with acetate. Here's where it gets even cooler. In electro-agriculture, solar panels capture energy, which powers a chemical reaction that combines carbon dioxide and water to produce acetate. Plants don't naturally eat acetate, so bioengineers had to genetically tweak them to reactivate a metabolic pathway that lets them digest acetate, similar to how human babies can drink milk but sometimes lose that ability as they grow up. This technique allows plants to get both carbon and energy from acetate, potentially letting them grow entirely in the dark. So, if we don't need sunlight, we could farm in places with low light, like underground, in city skyscrapers, or even on other planets. Chapter 4. Potential Beyond Plants, Algae, Mushrooms, and Yeast It's not just plants that benefit. Acetate is already a favorite food for certain organisms like algae, mushrooms, and yeast. These organisms could thrive in electro-agricultural setups right now, possibly making them the first candidates for commercial electro-agriculture. Imagine growing protein-packed algae and mushrooms in eco-friendly facilities powered entirely by solar energy. Chapter 5. Challenges and Future Goals Of course, we're still in the early days of this technology. Researchers are currently working on enhancing the efficiency of acetate production and making it more cost-effective. As of now, the system is about 4% efficient. That's already four times more efficient than natural photosynthesis, but there's still room to grow. The team is also exploring how to engineer plants that can rely on acetate for all their energy, without any sunlight. Once perfected, this method could be scaled up to high-calorie crops like cassava, sweet potatoes, and grains, which would make electro-agriculture a game-changer for food security. Chapter 6. What's next for electro-agriculture? So, what's next? The researchers aim to fine-tune the acetate production process and get it ready for large-scale use. 
They believe that by making it more efficient and affordable, electro agriculture could move beyond the lab and into our everyday lives. Indoor farms, eco friendly food sources, and even space grown crops could soon be reality, thanks to this breakthrough. In short, Electro agriculture is a bold step toward a more sustainable future where we can grow food in places we never thought possible. Source Cell Press. So, what do you think about electro agriculture? Let me know in the comments below and let's keep the conversation flowing. If you're as fascinated by this futuristic vision as we are, Make sure to subscribe to Trend Storm and stay updated on more cutting edge science and technology. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more breakthroughs in science and tech, and until next time, keep storming those trends.